KNKT investigators are facing intense pressure to determine why Flight 267 crashed. Without recorded flight data, the plane's cockpit voice recorder is investigators' last hope to learn what was happening in the air at the time of the crash. Fortunately, the CVR data is successfully recovered. All right, we're ready. Okay, play it. The CVR contains two hours of audio, including from the two flights prior to the accident flight. I'll call down and let them know we're coming. Investigators first listen to the pilot's flight into Oxybeal from earlier in the day in the hopes of finding clues. Oxybeal, Trigana 267. Trigana 267, Oxybeal, copy. We're beginning our approach. Would like the descent from 11,500 feet. Confirm descent from 11,500. Let me know when you are positioned over Oxybeal. Uh, Oxybeal. We won't be over the airport. We're going to fly direct to a left base leg to runway 11. Copy that. Left base leg? That's not what it says in the charts. They took a shortcut? The CVR reveals that the pilots made an intentional deviation in their approach during their prior flight into Oxybeal. The official approach directs aircraft to fly over the airport and then circle back and land. But on the earlier flight, the pilots flew directly to runway 11 without looping around. So they take the same shortcut for the accident flight. The last flight proceeds much like the crew's earlier flight into Oxybeal. Big plans with the family? Investigators listen closely for any signs of danger. Yeah, looking forward to some time off. It's been very busy these past few weeks. It's what they don't hear that raises questions. They're not doing their approach briefing and checklist. The team now knows that the crew missed a crucial step on their approach. While listening to the final moments of the crash, investigators make a baffling discovery. That's it? Happened so fast. Sounds like they didn't even see the mountain. 